Hello goblins. It's Chris, Eldritch Pipes. Having quite a relaxing Sunday. Just so you know, I'm smoking some Esoterica Dunbar that I've had jarred for a little while. I think at least a year. Um, I got some a while back, loved it, then got some more, and then that batch didn't quite speak to me, so I jarred it and I'm just trying it again now. Nice, naturally sweet blend. I got all kinds of little tidbits to talk to you about today. First, to my Lovecraftian friends. Um, if you've got Netflix, I really recommend watching Catler. It's a Icelandic TV series. It's really weird and awesome. It has a hint, just a hint, mind, of Colour Out of Space. If you watch it all the way, you will... See what I mean, if you know the story well enough. Just really good. Small town weirdness. Excellent. And after that, I was lucky enough then to watch the Danish series, discover the Danish series, Equinox. And what the... the Catalyst series... Uh, lacks in Lovecraftian elements, Equinox picks up. It's got a, uh, a pagan cult uh, working out on a on an island, and it's just it's really cool. Um, and there's a lot of you sort of are watching two timelines go off. You sort of like ping ponging back and forth between the past and the present and seeing how they're affecting each other. Just really great, and, and both of them have got um, really good endings as well. Um, I think they really work for me. I don't always need a, uh, a definitive, solid resolution to things. Um, if you are in the mindset of liking Lovecraft stories, some of them have like definitive endings, but many don't, and I'm, I'm okay with that. If you're a sort of a Lovecraft, I was going to say, not Lovecraft, a Lynch fan as well, you might be attuned to these kinds of things. And then my final pick, I've just started watching Dark, which is a German um, TV series, and we're only, only two episodes in at the moment. Um, the first was a little bit janky, but the second episode has really picked things up, and I'm liking where it's going. So, let me put this down. I'm going to show you some things. The first one is a commission. And I thought, I might actually just start talking about my commissions now. Um, it's an element that I haven't really discussed here. I've said you can commission a fight and you've seen commissions, but I thought people might get a kick out of hearing their names. And when they've got commissions coming up, I'm just going to sort of shout out on here. So this is this first one I'm going to show you is a commission for Jimmy McCulloch. And uh, it is, I was, when I get these kinds of commissions, it makes me very happy. This one is a black shrew and it's a, a detailed piece. You'll see what I mean. You know what, I'm going to turn this light. There we go, a little less flare. So as you can see, he's a kind of ribbed, bridged affair. Uh, so he's not, 
The relationship to the other shroom pipes might not be. If you're familiar with those, they tend to be like straight stems with bits that fan out at the, um, at the bowl. And so there's a lot of undercut work to do because you, you can't do that on a lathe. You have to get in there with tools. And so that element you can see uh, is happening here. Why does it look like I'm still blown out on the light? He gets the sandblast finish. So you can see how the ribs are laid out there. Actually, if you'd have seen on the last Listen with Eldritch, I was in the middle of carving this guy. You'd have seen me at work on him. And then it sort of like features carved stem going into polished stem. This is the smoke Cumberland that I do. Let's get in there. I've been making these kind of like corrupted stems for a couple of years now. I just really like the the playoff between sort of like traditionally a um, a sandblasted or a rusticated pipe. The rustication will end at the briar, which I always think is a bit can be a bit abrupt, and so I took the rustication up to the stem. But obviously you don't necessarily want that in your mouth. Well, maybe. Who knows? Might go the full Monty on that one day. But it occurred to me that you wouldn't. You'd want a smooth stem actually in your bite zone. And then, of course, the main factor of this is just like the beauty of the briar, is just being able to keep that plateau and so you can kind of see the shape of the briar briar block as it was cut which is nice as well you know really nice detailed bit of ring grain on this fellow going all the way around you can never guarantee that that's the look of the the look of the block Yes, if you can hear that, nature is all around me at the moment. So that's Jimmy's Black Shroom. <laughs> I'm just going to get my coffee. The next one is available. This is not a commission. Yes, nature. <laughs> this is a smooth strawberry. Done in just a black contrast. That is no top stain. So it's black and briar, if you like. Uh, you can see the grain go all the way around the bowl. Pretty dark on this side. The, the grain's got quite wide on this side. You've got your straight grain running along the shank on both sides. And on this, this is my this will lead on to what I'm going to show you next. The stem is antique gold. Now, I only had one piece of this. Um, I've got a new resin series coming out. Look at that fellow. It just works really nicely. 
sort of a great little bit to pop on a, a black pipe. So I've got a new uh, resin series coming out called uh, Eldritch Heavy Metal. And I was trying out different colours to see which would be my main colours. Uh, and in amongst my test colours was Antique Gold. Now it didn't make the main series, but uh, I still think it was really, really pretty. Uh, and I had a few bits of it from my tests lying around, so it went on to this guy here. So, what did make it into my main heavy metal set? I will show you. The first one is copper. I actually have been working with the copper for one or two years. And I've been making long rods with it. But these are going to be uh, six inch uh, blanks. Uh, at 19 millimeter. So if you've got a commission with me, these uh, metallic uh, range, the ones from the metallic range are available. So if you want to use them for your commissions, just let me know. Your options are copper for a start. I've always loved copper. It's just, I don't know, it just draws your eye. Then the next one I picked out is bronze. When I found this fellow, I was super pleased. There's just quite a lot of depth going on there. The third in the range is silver. And then finally, gold. So yeah, as I say, um, if you've got a commission coming up with me, you can, you can now choose from those. Uh, they are not in production yet, so if you're a pipe maker and you're buying my resin, they are not out yet. Um, they, we're still talking about those, and I'll let you know when those are out. My next commission up is, let me just check the names. It is uh, Angela and Matt Glaze. <laughs> Angela and Matt Glaze for a green snail, so that will make for a good uh, video as well. I have not done a snail in a little while, so looking forward to that one. All right, if you're interested in the strawberry, give me an email or shout down below and I'll tell you how to get in contact with me via the social medias and what not. All right, till next time, take it very easy, the loyal pipe maker.